you know that Age Concern receives more than 2,000 referrals of elder abuse every year? And one of the most common forms of abuse is financial, and that's what we are talking about today in Perpetual Guardian Money Matters with Kevin Lamb from Age Concern. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, uh, it really is quite a serious problem, isn't it? It's a huge problem, and it's a problem I think we don't focus enough on. I mean, we've done the research, anything up to 10% of all people over 65 have experienced some form of abuse or neglect in the course of their lives. Half of those people will be suffering financial abuse. Was that how many percentage was that? 10. 10%. 10 percent. One in 10 of all over 65s in New Zealand. Gosh, that seems really high. It is, and we also feel that a, a lot of cases probably go unreported for a whole variety of I'm reasons. I'm sure they do. So what are some of the worst cases that you've come across? Well, I, I mean, I was... Only last week I was sitting talking to a chap and his story is not untypical. He was uh, an old guy in his 80s and he, he'd sort of befriended a younger man in his 40s who'd sort of said, oh, look, I need somewhere to live, I need somewhere to, to stay. And he said, oh, come and move into my house. He moved in. He thought he'd be paying rent. He thought he'd be contributing to the bills. It ends up he brings his partner to come and stay. He said it was going to be for a week or two. They ended up being there for four years. They treated the guy like a slave. He was having to do all the cooking, all the grocery shopping, paying for everything. Eventually he ends up going to the shops, being sent out one day, collapses on the street and he ends up in hospital. Oh, no. And you always think that's probably the worst part of it. But then unfortunately what happens next is when he's in hospital, they've told his neighbours that he's, he's passed away and they sell off all of his possessions. Oh, you... So he ends up with nothing. He comes out of hospital, he literally has nothing left. And this isn't family, is it? This is just somebody that he this, befriended on In this case, this was someone he befriended who he said, oh, I can help, I'm doing a good deed. Oh, this is just awful things to, to hear. So what are the signs then that you should look out for? Well, some really obvious things. If someone's behaviour starts to change, and so the things they're doing are different, the routines they have are different. If they're becoming a bit withdrawn, or if they're recoiling from physical contact, or they're showing a sense of fear of an individual or people, mm. or the strange things happening with their bank accounts, or things being delivered to the house that you'd be thinking they wouldn't be buying those sorts of things. Really, anything that shows that something's different from the norm, just look out for those sorts of things. Because signs. I'm sure a lot of times they'd be embarrassed too. They wouldn't want to say anything, that if they, even if they realise that something a bit strange is going on themselves, if that they wouldn't want to draw attention to the fact what's happening to them. Oh, they wouldn't. And one of the scary things is, is that anything up to 75% of all cases of abuse are actually within families. So it's not strangers. Mm. It's adult children or extended families. Which who is are even worse. Yeah. So what is age concern doing? Well, we do two things, really. One is we try and raise it as an issue. I mean, one of the frightening things is for us is that it's simply not something that's talked about. So 10% of all New Zealanders, you're looking at 60,000 people across New Zealand experiencing abuse. We simply want to get people to see it as an issue that can be discussed, talked about, and accept that it's not okay. Right. The other thing we do is provide direct support. So when someone is concerned about abuse or neglect going on, they can contact Age Concern, contact the local office, and we will go and have a conversation with the older person, ensure that they're okay. Move from that position of vulnerability to one being resilient. Okay, that's really fantastic advice and really quite eye-opening, really, isn't it? Thank you so much, Kevin, for coming in today. Oh, it's a pleasure. And uh, next week on Perpetual Guardian Money Matters, we'll be chatting to Consumer Chief Executive Sue Chapman as well.